Lindsay Theory for Fox Sports SC Playbook with your week four playbook preview as USC caps off a three game homestand hosting Utah State Saturday in the Coliseum. The Trojans improved to two and one after their decisive 35 to seven win over Boston College. But the challenge this week gets a bit tougher. Utah State is coming off an 11 win season. They've got a new coach, but their system is the same. And though they're two and one right now, they easily could be 3 and 0. The talk around SC practice this week has been all about Aggie quarterback Chucky Keaton, the dual threat kid who has already thrown for 12 touchdowns this season. But how about the USC defense Keaton will go against? The Trojans right now among the top 10 defenses nationally in multiple categories, so Keaton and company will pose a challenge. But if USC's defense is the real deal, Utah State shouldn't cause a problem. Every quarterback in our conference is like him, so I mean it's nothing new for us. He's, a, he's supposed to be a great runner around guy that can throw the ball, so we just got to work on in the back seven, plastering, you know, not letting guys run free through the secondary and just keep them bottled up. No, we kind of looked at last game as a kind of a big test too because like, they had a running running game and uh, we played pretty good, you know, so uh, uh, this is another big game, you know, a shifty quarterback, so uh, we're just going to focus on keeping them in the pocket and uh, secondary playing well so we can get after them. It's a really good team with a great quarterback, um, great offense, defense, and special teams, so um, that's why they've won a lot of games. Uh, you know, you look at this year and last year, these guys play really good and they're really hard to beat. In the games they lose, uh, a lot of times they outgain the other team and barely lose in the fourth quarter uh, versus some big teams. So we're going to have our hands full and a, a very big challenge for us. The quarterback dust has long settled at USC with Cody Kessler now into his second week as the starting guy. Kessler continues to emphasize that he is feeling more and more comfortable in the position, knowing he doesn't have to look over his shoulder and worry about what a mistake could cost. His receivers are starting to get in sync with him too. As for play calling this week, well, USC head coach Lane Kiffin says he won't be deferring to University President Max Nikias to call the game opening play, and Kiffin himself isn't quite sure if this will be a shootout or if the Trojans' defense will hold and USC will rely on their ground game. You go into games and games are always different and um, I've, I've said it a, a bunch. You can't compare because some team did something the week before against a different team and um, that's how sometimes you get games where all of a sudden you have a bunch of rushing yards and next week you don't or vice versa with passing yards or defense. So uh, you just got to manage the game as it goes and put us in the best position to win. Just because you know they're high power offense and do what they do doesn't force us, you know, to, to try to do extra things and, you know, move too, too fast and stuff. You know, we got to take, take our time, do what we usually do, and uh, we get the job done. Like I said, I mean, I'm just trying to improve off last week. Um, and, you know, I feel a lot more settled now, you know, last week being the first week and, and um, of being the starter. And then uh, this week now, I mean, it's just back to work. You know, that whole, I feel like the whole, like, controversy of that kind of settled down. There's no more, like, drama with that. Um, so it's nice to just get back in it and start working really hard. These two teams have only met five times before the Trojans winning each contest by an average of 46 points. Yes, 46. It's another must win for the Trojans who hit the road next week to get into the heart of their Pac-12 schedule at Arizona State. The game kicks off Saturday at noon. I'll have all the latest coverage for you right here on FoxSportsSCPlaybook.com, so be sure to check back and get in on the insider message boards. See you Saturday from the Coliseum.